Have you ever wondered why there is such little effort required by the driver to press the brake pedal? The brake booster plays a major part when applying the brakes and stopping the vehicle. Hi, I'm Clint. Welcome to Automate. Because most vehicles are now fitted with disc brakes, vehicle manufacturers cannot utilise the self-energisation effect that four-wheel brake drum and shoe systems develop. So a different method of force multiplication is required for a vehicle using brake rotors and pads. Vacuum suspended brake boosters are the most common force multiplier used in automotive brake systems. And although there are many different types, they are all similar in operation. They provide braking assistance by applying a vacuum or low pressure to one side of a diaphragm and allow atmospheric pressure to push on the other. The force produced by the brake booster reduces the pedal effort required by the driver, while at the same time, it increases the force applied to the master cylinder hydraulics. We call these components vacuum brake boosters, but be aware that the term vacuum is only used to indicate a negative or low pressure, which is any value below atmospheric. In the past, all gasoline powered vehicles used manifold pressure to operate the brake booster. Like what you see? To gain access to the most advanced automotive technical training available, visit our website and be the best technician you can be.